Hello friends, my name is Bob. In this video, I will be showing you the solution to the McClory series of sine x squared using the formula shown in the top right hand corner of this video. And I will be expressing the McClory series up to and including the x to the power 4 terms. But before I do so, if you guys like the solution, help me press the thumbs up icon below. The top right hand corner formula tells us that the function of x can be expressed as an infinite series in which we need to evaluate the following f0 is the function of x evaluating at x equals 0 f prime 0 is the function differentiated once and evaluating at x equals 0 and then we have f double prime 0 is the function differentiated twice and evaluating at x equals 0 we have f triple prime 0 is the function differentiated three times and evaluating at x equals 0 and then last but not least we have f4 times prime 0 is the function differentiated four times and evaluating at x equals 0 we start off by defining what is my fx. My fx is defined as sine x squared. And then we find what is my f prime x, which is just basically cosine x squared. Differentiating x squared, we get 2x. Basically, it's just 2x cosine x squared. How about f double prime x? is differentiating f prime x one more time we get the following we in this case have to apply the product rule of uh, differentiation so we start with uh, differentiating 2x we get 2 cosine x squared and then the next part we just differentiate cosine x squared which is negative sine x squared differentiating x squared which is just 2x we simplify it and we get the following which is 2 cosine x squared subtracting away 4x squared sine x squared. Next we worked out why is my f triple prime x so this is differentiating f double prime x one more time we start off with the first term the first term basically is just the following negative sine x squared times 2 differentiating x squared we get 2x how about the second term we will then have to apply the product rule of differentiation so we start off with Differentiating 4x squared, we get 8x sine x squared and then plus 4x squared. Differentiating sine x squared, we get cosine x squared and then uh, we differentiate y is my x squared, we get 2x. I will then uh, simplify the whole thing. The first term will be negative 4x sine x squared. The second term will be negative 8x sine x squared. And then the third term will be negative 8x cubed cosine x squared. Simplify a bit further, we get negative 12x sine x squared minus 8x cubed cosine x squared. Next we found why is my f4 times prime x by differentiating f triple prime x one time. For the first term of the f triple prime x, we have to apply the product rule of differentiation. We start off with differentiating negative 12x, we get negative 12 sine x squared and then we next have the sine x squared differentiated we get cosine x squared differentiating x squared we get 2x as for the second term the same thing we apply the product rule of differentiation starting with uh, differentiating 8x cubed we get 24x squared cosine x squared so let's just put this as square and then we will differentiate cosine x squared which is negative sine x squared differentiating x squared we get 2x All right and then we will just leave it as it is so once i formalize my fx f prime x and so on and so forth i will now evaluate my f0 substituting x equals to 0 into fx in this particular case we know that this is 0 how about f prime 0 substituting x equals to 0 into f prime x we get 0 because we have here 2x is 0 anything times 0 is equal to 0 how about f double prime 0 so for f double prime 0 we substitute x equals to 0 into f double prime x for the first term we get 2 because cosine 0 is 1 and for the second term is just 0 how about f triple prime 0 substituting x equals to 0 into f triple prime x it's basically just 0 because the two terms are 0. How about f4 times prime 0 is the same thing. Is it equal to 0 because all the terms itself are basically just 0. We now have found out why is my f0, f prime 0, f double prime 0. So on and so forth, we can apply the formula 
in the top right hand corner of this video to express the Maclaurin series of sine x squared up to and including the x to the power of 4 terms. So basically, the Maclaurin series of sine x squared is just approximately equals to x squared times 2 over 2 factorial. So basically, it's just equals to x squared. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like the solution, let me press the thumbs up icon and do consider to subscribe. My name is Bob. Thank you guys for your support. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.